on you guys what's up welcome back to my channel for another video thank you so much for tuning in it's always super appreciated if you just found my channel somehow through YouTube and you're just passing by I'm Jordan I'm very appreciative to have you if you're a returning subscriber what's good today I'm doing a fitness video you're probably like what I know I see you guys in the comments in the requests with bring back the fitness videos the meal prep the gym footage I realize that's what a ton of you guys subscribe for and I want you to know that I want to put up content that you want to see so recently I've been doing like some girl boss videos and success stuff about personal growth and business development just because that's what I'm so passionate about and I have to thank you guys like you've given me so much support and love on those videos and I know there's a huge group of you who want to see those so I just wanted to thank you guys for supporting me in doing some something a little new uh, but I was reading through all the requests through all the comments these past like two weeks and I've just seen the number one video request has been to bring back fitness videos and this actually comes at a perfect time because I myself am at such a great place mentally and where I have some really big fitness goals for myself for the year that I want to share with you guys so it's the perfect time to start a new fitness series here on my channel I hope you will subscribe and follow me along my progress I know the new year is also like a number one time for a bunch of you guys out there who are probably getting super Super serious on your fitness goals maybe you need some new meal prep ideas some new workout ideas in the gym I got you so this is the first episode in my new workout series I think I'm just gonna call it like shred or something basically I'm doing a 12 week cut so I'm being really strict on my macros on all of my workouts in the gym I'm gonna break it down for you in this little chit chat what I'm personally doing so you can follow along um, I'm basically working out five days a week and I'm being very very strict on my nutrition being in a caloric deficit so I'm able to lose between like a pound and a pound and a half every week I'm gonna do this strictly for 12 weeks uh, my goal is I'm gonna go to the Arnold in March I believe it's in Ohio and I want to look a lot more like lean and toned for that um, and my ultimate goal if you have followed my channel for a while I've always wanted to do a bikini competition but I've just always been overweight and haven't been able to get myself lean enough to do that so my goal this year is to stop procrastinating give it a million percent and get that goal done so mark my words I'm going to do it I think this first 12 weeks of really leaning down and seeing so much physical progress in my body is going to motivate me so 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 much to reach that final goal so I thought it'd be really cool to just document the whole thing I love watching prep series and like fitness series on YouTube so hopefully my page can now be an inspiration or a place for you guys to come and actually watch my journey as well so I'm actually filming today um, well in this video you guys are about to see a grocery haul and a full body workout from this morning And then I'm also filming today a full meal prep video which will be live in like two days So be sure you're subscribed for all of my like upcoming fitness and health Content and give this video a like if these are the videos you guys want to see I'm really trying to gauge like what you want on my channel just because I film so many different things because I'm passionate about a lot of different things um, But yeah, I'm super excited 12 weeks. I'm pumped up. I can already see the completed goal in my mind I have 100% faith that I'm I'm going to stick this out and do it and have major progress in my body which makes me really happy I'm at such a good place mentally right now and it has never been like that for me if you've watched my channel for a while I really used to struggle with depression anxiety and binge eating really really bad in college and I am really happy to say I have definitely overcome the binge eating um, I'm at a really good mental place where I truly love myself and my body I'm like very very grateful that my joints even function properly and I'm able to work out and have the privilege of having money to eat healthy and I'm really coming at this cut from a place of love just wanting to see like how toned I can get my body and feel better I'm not coming at this cut from a place of hate or because I look in the mirror and I think I'm ugly or I'm fat or I'm overweight I think if you come at weight loss or come at like a cut from a place of hate like that there's no way that you're going to be successful you need to realize that your body is such a blessing and it's so strong and and it wants to work for you so if you come at a weight loss journey or a healthy living journey from a positive mental spot you're gonna be so much more successful so I just personally feel like I am at a really good place right now a lot of you have been commenting on my Instagram lately that I look really happy and I am I'm very very happy just with myself and Christian and all these goals I have I'm launching my stuff for my girl boss Academy like so many things I feel like I'm in a really positive happy place in life right now and it just feels really good so for the next 12 weeks I'm still working with my coach Leah we have dropped my macros a little bit so I can be at a little bit more of a steep deficit to really see some intense progress in my body which I'm so excited for I wanted to also let you guys know ever since the new year or like end of December I've been getting more than usual bunch of DMs from you guys asking me how I lost my first 30 pounds can I give you a meal plan can I let you know what to do in the gym how do you count macros and I'm just always super upfront and honest with you guys I am NOT a specialist in that I'm not a certified personal trainer 
All of my guidance comes from my coach, Leah. She is absolutely incredible. And I know I've mentioned her before, I'm not trying to sound redundant, but I know in the new year, a lot of you guys are trying to get healthy as well. And I would highly, highly recommend that you hire her. She is so, so affordable compared to other like social media trainers who charge like probably a few hundred a month. I believe your first month with Leah is like 35 bucks. Uh, but she takes her job extremely seriously. She is a women's weight loss specialist. She's a professional, like she is incredible. She will teach you how to count your macros, how to come at it, like I said, from an approach of truly loving yourself and wanting to hit your goals. You'll be in the whole LK Fit like community and Facebook group where I'm also in. She sends you recipes, grocery lists, every single like workout that you need to do, all of her workouts you're able to do at home in under 40 minutes, which is really cool. So you're actually part of a community. It's not like you're doing this on your own, which I find is really good for accountability and to just have like a group of other awesome women who are all going for the same goal of being really healthy. Um, again, I know I've mentioned her plenty of times, but I am all about referring business over to people who truly deserve it and she is incredible. So I will have her website below if you're on your journey and you want someone to truly calculate macros for you that are super personalized based on your height, your weight, your activity level, everything. Please go ahead and give her the business, guys. She's incredible. Like she really, really deserves it. Um, so yeah, I'm real excited. Let's go ahead and hop into this morning. I filmed my full body workout. Then my son and I went to the grocery store. I'll give you a full grocery haul and we'll end off the video back here in the kitchen. I'll show you guys what I'm having for dinner. All right, you guys, let's get it going with the workout. I wanted to just voice over some of these exercises and let you know how many sets and reps I'm doing and why and what part of my body it's working. And then I'll just kind of let the music play over some of it. So here I was just starting off with glute kickbacks with weight attached. So I believe it was 12 and a half pounds on the cable machine. Um, basically, I just did 10 to 12 reps per leg and I did three sets of that. I basically filmed just one set of everything for you guys, but if you're gonna go in the gym and do this yourself, you can just double up on sets or do three or whatever works for you at whatever fitness level you are at. I feel these so much in my glutes and they're, I always keep them in my routine. Here I'm just doing some cable rope pulls. These are my absolute favorite for shoulders, back, rear delts. I feel this so, so, so much in my rear delts. And when I actually flex and look in the mirror and turn around, I can definitely see progress. The more I lean out, I can really see my back muscles like pop through, which is really exciting. I believe I used 30 pounds here. I used to only be able to do 22, then 25, and now I'm at 30. So my back is actually one of my strongest points. Uh, moving on to the leg press, I just did two 45 pound plates and I did 12 reps for just regular leg press here and then I believe you'll see in a second I put on another 35 on each side and did another 12 reps. Nothing too crazy, just kind of getting back into the swing of doing legs because I actually pulled my left hamstring um, about like four weeks ago and I couldn't work out legs at all. Then here I was basically just doing some glute bridges with a 50 pound barbell. Um, the lighting right here totally sucked. I'm so sorry. I positioned the camera wrong and this clip was super dark so I had to brighten it up in Final Cut so this clip looks kind of shitty so my apologies. I believe I was just doing like 20 reps. I was just doing a burnout and these absolutely kill your legs and your glutes. Do not underestimate these. They're really really painful and they're excellent for glute growth. Moving on to shoulders, my favorites. I was just doing lat raises, side lateral raises. Side note, do not jump like I'm doing. My body here was totally like jumping up and down there in my core, do not do that. Try to keep your core stable, I don't know what I was doing. But I'm using 10 pounds in each hand and I just did 12 reps and I repeated that three times. Then I did this little set for biceps where you basically curl up, then you do an Arnold press, then you do an around the world, which is this big circle. Then I just did three or four or five uh, bicep curls right here. Then we're going to do some side, what are they called? Side lateral these. What are these called? Someone let me know in the comments. Um, these are also for your rear delts. Also this clip is sped up, so I was doing this a lot more slow and controlled than it looks. Um, and then I ended this with some side lateral raises as well to just do like a little combo burnout and this absolutely killed, oh my gosh. Moving on, I ended off the workout with some hit circuits. So I'm taking a 10 pound dumbbell in each hand and I'm raising it up to the sky, dropping down and doing a burpee. So I believe I only did like eight or nine reps of this for like two sets because these were killer. I was like pouring sweat at this point, but doing hit cardio really gets your heart rate up, helps you to shed fat quicker and this is just personally what works for me. 
This is also another set I end off with all the time at the gym. I just do jumping jacks and then like side jumps and also squat jumps. I'll basically just do each one like 10 or 12 times as you see here and then I'll move on to the next exercise and I'll repeat that circuit like two or three times. I prefer to do this some days rather than like running on the treadmill or doing steady state cardio because having your heart rate super, super high and just going at an intense pace helps me personally to just sweat even more. Um, so I just really always like finishing off all my workouts doing some form of HIIT cardio. Then for my last hit circuit here, I was just doing some explosive jumps, as you can see, and dropping it down into a burpee as well. These are just so, so killer. Like, my heart rate gets so high that I can barely breathe at the end. It's really intense, but like I said, I prefer to just get it done, go at a really intense speed, and really just get sweaty. So at the very end, I actually did walk on the treadmill for like five minutes just to lower my heart rate, and then I just did some glute kickbacks here. I did some with a bent knee and then also some, as you see here, with a straight leg. I think I do about 10 to 12 for each leg, and then I just, you know, look at the camera, make sure your girl is still in focus, and do the other leg. So these are also really good if you have ankle weights. You can see glute growth a lot quicker, actually, when you put a little bit more resistance on. And then here, just ending off doing some lunges, I was doing, I believe again, 10 to 12 on my right leg, 10 to 12 on my left. I just do a reverse lunge and then I lift up my knee as well for a little bit of just additional resistance. So just doing both legs, ending off burning out the legs and that was it for the workout and your girl was dead. All right guys, workout done. I am so sweaty, those hit circuits killed me. We just pulled up to Albertsons, going to get some groceries. Oh, did you even say hi to the vlog today? Yeah. Say hi. Hi. Turn around. How adorable does he look? You are just too cute. I love these little pants. Target for the win. And, and, <laughs> what? Oh, and, and, what do you want to tell everyone on YouTube? I heard and, and found up and subscribe. Aw, thumbs up subscribe. and subscribe. And click my buttons. I see. You, you look this. so handsome. I just did this on my you did it all by yourself. Give me a high five. I just get the dress. You got dressed. Give me a hand. You know how proud I am of you that you got dressed all by yourself? My jeans don't look too small. What? Oh, they're not too small, yeah. Here, go get mommy a cart. We're going to do a little grocery haul. So we're back home from the grocery store. I'm all showered and got ready a little bit because I am gonna do some other filming today for some other videos as well. But I wanted to just show you guys what I picked up at the store. I hope you guys enjoyed that little footage of me and Christian. He's so cute. We always just have so much fun together doing like the simplest tasks, like, you know, dancing in the aisles and stuff. Life is short. So I don't know, he's just such a cutie. He's actually napping right now. But I picked up just a bunch of staple items that I get every single week that are super affordable. Also, please stay tuned and just make sure you're subscribed to this channel because 
with a lot of the groceries I bought today I'm doing a meal prep video I'm not gonna include that in this video because it would make it way too long but I think I'm gonna actually film it tonight so within like two days here on my channel you'll see a full week of meal prep I think I made it to where it's like under 30 bucks everything I got was really affordable so I wanted to show you guys the groceries I picked up I did shop at Albertsons if you're curious and then also we'll end off this video with showing you guys what I'm having today for lunch and dinner I got two packs of the Uncle Ben's ready rice you just put it in the microwave for 90 seconds super easy they also have brown rice and tons of different flavors just picked up two picked up some bananas which are not quite ripe yet which is perfect uh, two zucchini and two squash I'm actually gonna use these today for the meal prep video so I'll be uh, just chopping those up with some garlic salt on top two things of strawberries always like to have fresh fruit in the house these were on sale for about 250 which is pretty solid also just some lettuce if you follow me on Instagram you know I love my salads always have to have this on hand some Jif's whipped peanut butter. If you are counting macros, this has much better macros than regular peanut butter. It's only 140 calories for two tablespoons rather than 190. And I personally really like the texture. For my little treat item each day or each night that I can kind of fit into my macros, I picked up the Enlightened Chocolate Flavor. It's 60 calories per serving, so 240 for the whole pint. I really like Halo Top, and I've only tried like two flavors of Enlightened, but this one looks pretty good, so wanted to give that a try. Got some sweet potato for the meal prep. I like to just put cinnamon on this and roast it in the oven. It's incredible. Also got a vegetable medley, again, for the meal prep video. Stay tuned for that, guys, because that's where I'm going to put, like, all this to use. Um, but this is just broccoli, carrots. Got some Walden Farms syrup for the morning when I make my vegan pancakes or my Kodiak cakes. This has no calories, no macros. It's really good. I actually really like the taste. It's not, like, crappy or anything for having no calories. Then just picked up some of these for Christian, some fiber digestive support gummies. I wanted to get um, caramel rice cakes, but they were out, so I just ended up getting the crunchy rice rollers. I actually really love these. They're really good if you just dip these into the Jif's peanut butter. Amazing. Also a really good like macro-friendly snack for the end of the day to fit something chocolatey in. I wanted to try these, just the fiber ones, the cream brownie, 110 calories per bar. It's also really good to take on the go, so I don't like, I'm not tempted to stop and get fast food. Got some Jello, mostly for Christian, but it's only five calories, so I might try this myself as well. Um, some apple juice for him, avocados, always need those, can add them into salads, wraps, literally anything. And then these Luna Bars were on clearance, I've never tried this flavor, peanut butter dark chocolate chunk, but they looked really good, and I believe most Luna Bars are actually vegan. So, got those, what am I missing? Two cans of pineapple, already opened this, Christian's having some for lunch. And also I got three packs of these Beyond Meat burgers, they come with two patties each, I've talked about these on my Instagram so much, they're incredible. All plant based, 20 grams of protein, they do have 290 calories per patty, 6 carb, 20 protein, 22 fat. So a little high on the fat, but if you're trying to cut meat out of your diet, they're the closest thing I've found to the texture of meat, they're absolutely bomb. I literally bought three packs and that was all they had left, so sorry. No one else can get any at that store, but these are what I'm going to use in the meal prep video as well, and this is actually what I'm having for lunch today. All right, that's it for the grocery haul, but I actually just made myself some healthy lunch from some of the groceries I got, and I figured I would just show you guys what I'm having. It's almost 2 p.m. This is my first meal because I am sticking to intermittent fasting, so I took one of those plant-based Beyond Meat patties, and I put it on. This is just a full bed of lettuce from The Habit. I ordered the garden salad yesterday, and I couldn't finish it all, so it's just a ton of salad volume under there. And then I had three servings of these little tortilla strips. A serving is just two tablespoons. And then on top, I just put a little bit of the bowl. Bull House Farms Creamy Caesar. 45 calories for every two tablespoons, 2.5 fat, four carb, two protein. This is a really good macro-friendly yogurt-based dressing. All right, so surprise, surprise, it's another salad. You guys know I'm just obsessed with my salads, but I made this one a little bit different than the one from lunch. So I actually have three of the Gardein vegan strips in there as my protein source. I'll show you guys. They look like this if you want to get them. Again, they are processed. It's not the healthiest thing, but um, if you're not eating meat, this is also a really good option. I didn't want to have another one of the Beyond Meat burgers because those are already really high in fat. So I had three of these crispy tenders. I have two tablespoons of that same Bolt House dressing. I have a fourth cup of these Pinto beans, which are a really good addition into any salad. Uh, three servings of the tostada chips, just for like a little crunch. Um, some lettuce. I don't really care about tracking the macros on lettuce. I mean, I put it into my fitness pal, but it's not that big a deal. It's only like 10 calories. And then I have a full cup of egg whites here at the bottom. So it's actually a really good crunchy salad. Pretty good on protein. Um, I'll actually put the macros up on the screen because I just loaded it into my fitness pal. So I'll give you guys a little screen share if you want to create this meal yourself. 
So yeah, I think that'll do it, you guys. That's it for this video, episode one of my new cut. Please make sure you're subscribed and give this video a like. I would really love you to follow me along my progress and this journey. If you're out there doing the same thing, getting healthy, I applaud you. Taking your health seriously is something to be rewarded for, and I'm really proud of you guys. I hope my videos can be a resource for you um, and just show you like meals and like I said, workouts and everything that you can also try at home and have your own success. So I love you guys. I really appreciate you. I will see you probably in like a day or two for my new video. Oh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I'm posting so much more diligently now on my Instagram story with all the meals I'm eating daily along with the macros. Uh, every day that I don't post a new YouTube video, I think I'm going to post like three YouTube videos a week, but if I'm not on YouTube, I'm always on Snapchat and Instagram. So I'd really also love to have you guys over there. And I think that's it now because this video is getting really long. Okay. Be sure to subscribe. Love you. See you in the next one. Mwah.